Do you two know each other? No, we don't. Okay, I love this because no. I know that you have a lot in common. You mm -hmm. both have huge Irish families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, Thomas, is it I'm true? I'm even Irish. That's how mm -hmm. Irish my family is. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Irish, yeah. I, facts. Yeah. I love that. But, Thomas, it's so interesting because you have said you have 70 to 80 cousins in Chicago alone. I'm, I'm, I'm from a very big Irish family also. You're from Kildare? Yes. Right. So, uh, my, my <laughs> grandfather... <laughs> Kildare! I need to... Yo, yo, big shout out to everyone from Kildare. Kildare is in the south! Horse racing industry town. Everybody loves us. Oh, Everybody. Kildare, the greatest. <laughs> uh, my dad's one of ten, my mom's one of seven. You know, kind of the drill, yeah. I have so many kids, I don't even know where they are right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's, I got a lot of cousins. And at one point I was like, you know, if I even met my cousins in Chicago on the street, my mm. Irish cousins, I, pro I don't think I would know most of them. <laughs> And then I was on an airplane to San Francisco, and a woman turned around and she said, Tom. And I was like, what can I do for you? <laughs> it's me. Do you want me to autograph your boobs or <laughs> which boob? <laughs> and she's like, it's your cousin Patsy. <laughs> so uh, then I said, so you don't want me to autograph your boobs? <laughs> and why are you being so stuck up, Patsy? Um, <laughs> No, I, yeah, there's a lot of us. And you have a big family, too. Well, I have a, a, an immediate small family mm -hmm. uh, of, of, a, of a mother and... They're uh, called leprechauns. They go, yeah. <laughs> we don't use They're that word anymore, Tom. leprechauns or travelers. <laughs> no, we really don't use that word anymore. Um, <laughs> um, you are being so difficult tonight. I am. I've I know, never seen Doesn't it seem like they've known each other forever? <laughs> like, how have just met? I love this chemistry. Well, genetically, we have. We're probably yeah. cousins. Ashton, congratulations on your success. You have not one, but two hit shows with this... This way up and living with yourself. Congratulations. Hey. So, as people started to stop you on the streets, are they recognizing you? Are you signing boobs? What's going on? I don't. Well, I'm always open to signing boobs. I started on my own. Um, I one time was walking down the street in London, where I live most of the time, and a woman came up to me and she's like, Oh, sorry, how do I know you? And I was like, um, Well, I, oh, I, I do a lot of. Um, comedy on television and um, and she's like oh no you come to Riverside medical practice and I'm like yes you're you're my nurse <laughs> and since then I've been so the, I was so embarrassed and I really get ashamed I've never admitted to doing anything ever again Thomas, you have so many credits on IMDb you've been part of so many amazing projects mm. specifically I want to point out the iconic lieutenant dangling mm. Reno 911 Ooh. I got it how do cops mm -hmm. feel about your portrayal of them? Uh, cops can be, they are very friendly. When they, when they know you're Lieutenant Dangle, it, it tends to go... So they like it. They like, they like it, it a yeah. lot. Has it ever helped you? It's helped a couple times. You know, you'll get pulled over and instead of like, you know... It's like, a, it's an extra level beyond white privilege. <laughs> um, white privilege is like the regular, like, mm -hmm. uh, that's economy plus. But then cop privilege is something totally different. <laughs> I thought they meant the same thing. That's so weird. No, 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 no. There's, there's so many different weird levels to it. <laughs>